Welcome to a brand new edition of the Viral Virtue Show. It's always a pleasure to have you on board. And if this is your first time, this is a Viral Virtue Show, the show that promotes a culture of good character, morals, and values. My name is AB, and with me are... Big OJ. And OC. Thank you guys for coming on board. Thank so you. how have you guys been? What's up? We're what good. have you been We're up good. to? Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. chilling. Big OJ doing Big OJ things. Oh, I knew you were <laughs> going to say that. All right, so let's yes. talk. Um, so we all know that the man is the head of the home, and in many cases, he brings the bread home. But in recent times, we were seeing when just a little switch in the wife's career has the capacity to bring the whole family to a better place, maybe financially yes. or socially. As a man, what should you do and what would you do? In today's conversation, we're going to be talking about relocating with your wife because of her career. And I believe it's going to be an amazing Of course, yeah, I'm looking yes, forward to yes. <laughs> I'm looking forward to, to the We have a special guest, Michael, yeah. who will be sharing his perspectives on what it takes for a man to consider relocating for his wife's career. Yeah. You know, but I, I've seen people who have done it successfully. Mm. I've also seen people who will swear that it never, never works. And so it's important as we evolve as a people, as a people of God, God has always made room. If you remember the daughters of Zolifat, for instance, when um, land was being shared and yeah. nobody nobody considered a family without a male mm. member and the ladies complained, God said, give them what they asked. Portion. So many times God is considerate and always allows for room so long as you know we are very clear about the man is the head of the home and the woman... Um, for lack of a better word, the neck. Yeah. <laughs> but basically, between the two of them, this works to keep the family unit together. I think it's a topic worth exploring. Yeah, I think so too. So after the break, stay tuned. I will continue with this conversation. Welcome back. So if you're just joining us, this is the Viral Virtue Show, the show that promotes a culture of good character, morals, and values. And today we have an interesting topic. We are talking about relocating with your wife, you know, because of her career. You know, she probably would have gotten a better job and all of that. And, you know, for this part of the country, you know, it's a big issue. And we have an amazing guest in the house. We have Mike to talk about the issue. Welcome, yeah. Mike. Thank you very much. So what's up? What have you been up to? Well, we're going around about to have um, to put food on my table oh, <laughs> and on my family table too. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. All so, right, welcome. So today alone, we'll be yeah. talking about relocating with your wife. Okay. Yeah, and you know it's become a major issue. But I must ask you a first question: Do you think that couples should always do things together? Um, not really. Not really. They must do things together, but it depends on if they do agree. Mm -hmm. You know, the Bible said, can two work together? Except, no, except, except they agree. They so That's it has right. to be an agreement mm -hmm. to, for couples to do things together. There are some things you do together, and there are some things you definitely you wouldn't do together. Mm -hmm. Because right. of, um, um, it's not everything you do together that causes progress. Mm -hmm. So some things you need to do individually. Um, um, probably want there. to find out. Yes, I do yes, actually. Like, One of, yeah. What are some things that we, we can, do together. can do together and some things that we can't do that, together? That might not be progressive. Yes. Okay. Um, like, um, there's some 
I'm into business anyway. So yes. there's some business you can't do with your wife. Oh, okay. That make, that bring, yeah. uh, there's some so business like, you can do. And um, <clears throat> people have this mindset of saving together. Sure. And I noticed that it really doesn't work saving your money in a particular account doesn't work. Okay. And, like uh, a joint account. A joint account it doesn't really work. For me, anyway. I don't, anyways, I don't yeah. subscribe For to me, you. anyways. Don't subscribe to it. No. So okay. well, there, there are a couple of things as such that you can do and some other things that you can't do. So, mm. yeah. Okay, well, great. I like that example you gave, saving money together. I think, like you said, it works for some people and it doesn't That's work right. for That's right. It doesn't work for people, everybody. Or if you have a plan, it might work. Because mm. for me, I, we save together and we also have our independent account. Mm. But, mm. you know, that being said, uh, it takes me to my second question. Yeah. Should, can a man be dependent? Or should I rephrase that? Should a man be dependent? Sure. Hmm. Uh, or better still, let's stick with can. <laughs> can a man uh, be dependent? Well, can it's can. already happening. Uh, well, let him tell <laughs> us more. Well, the, the, the truth is, a man is not built that way. Okay. Mm -hmm. So a man is built to to dominate, to defend, to protect, to provide. Mm. That is the original uh, version of a man from. Genesis. Yes. Mm. Yeah, you, if you picture it very well, you see that that is the beauty of a man. But when the reverse be the case, um, it's difficult to depend on a woman to be dependent. It's very difficult to be. But it's possible when you find yourself in a certain um, condition, circumstances, situation, life happens. And when life happens, you find yourself. Um, Having, in to having to just navigate yourself around that, being the dependent. But naturally, a man doesn't um, just have that mindset to be dependent on anybody. Yeah, not yeah, even I, I like that. You know, I just want to add to what you said. You said it's already happening, and we see it everywhere, and not so far from us. And you know, and that takes me to the question I asked earlier. You know, let's, okay, let me give this scenario. Your wife gets a better job mm. and you're doing business here and probably you're making some money, but she gets a job with an international organization, maybe out of the country or on another, to another state. Mm. Um, and when you weigh the package, you know that it's like five, ten times what you're earning. Mm -hmm. Let me ask your opinion. What will you do? Well, um... You said I just adjusted. <laughs> it's a dicey question. <laughs> All right. Um, yes, it is a dicey question. A man is, as I said, is the African man, like you put it, in this side of the country, okay. is the man that has first his ego. Okay. And if you are to move with your wife, it still has to be from a place of understanding. If I have a wife that and 10 times, 20 times mm. more than me, and she's this kind of person that puts me down, that talks oh. to me anyhow, that is not submissive, it will be difficult to, to tail along her, her career path. Mm. You know? mm. But if you have a wife that, regardless of what she ends, she's submissive, she does things that is... Um, that the Bible describes, like the, the, the Proverbs 30, um, 31 woman. Mm. If you look at, I was trying to go through something about her recently to talk. The Proverbs 31, 31 woman. woman. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, you know, he said the husband is like a chief at the gate, and that's because of what she's doing. Mm -hmm. But if the husband doesn't look that way because of what she ends, then it's going to be difficult. Now, here, here's where I'm going to. Okay, I see, I see what yeah. you're saying. If she is that kind of, I, I don't care, we just gonna have to move, I don't care, it's not for the family, I, she's just all about herself, mm. then it's gonna be difficult to move to with her, to support okay. that. But if she's that kind of woman that is submissive and she understands the, 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 the situation of the home and she oh, I ain't more and can we talk about it she didn't just come uh, um hobby um sweetie whatever yeah, she calls she just um i just got a, uh, an offer can we go hey as i said the man the man ego will just kick him so yeah. what happens that it's possible for me let me use myself as an example mm. I, I, sorry i'm picking a thing or two okay. from what you're saying but 
before we jump into that, just hold the thought there. We'll go on a short break and then we'll come back. All right. Thanks for joining us on Heart to Heart. It's good to have you both on the program. It's our pleasure to be here. <laughs> but it's the truth, I've been singing for as for long as... A program that allows you into the world of your favorite artists as they share their personal stories with you. And we realized on the second day it wasn't improving. And there are many people who have been there and have compromised. No matter what I face. People go from admiring these people and forget that these people are really human. The program gives you the opportunity to really see the person behind every performance you see. See how we change my life. See how we wash me clean. Watch episodes of Heart to Heart on Flame TV. Welcome back. Like I always say, this is a show that promotes the culture of good character, morals, and values. And today we are talking about relocating with your spouse to greener, <laughs> pastures. greener pastures. Yes. So uh, before the break, I was going to ask you a question, Osi. So if it was you, you know, that got a better job, earning way more than your husband, how would you break the news to him? Or how will you try to cajole, like he said, to massage his ego, you know, so he doesn't feel put down? Okay, so he had already established something. The way and manner you respond and, you know, relate with your husband will determine how successful you would be at asking for something like that. Mm. So before I, that day comes where I'm saying, please, this is an option that has come up. What do you think? I, I don't know. I would never, maybe because of how I relate with my husband, it won't come up as though this is what has come up. What, I mean, whatever, this, this, this is the only option. No, it won't, it won't come up because there are many things at stake. You know, so I would, um, I would lean into how we have always related, how sacrifices have been made both ways, how compromises have been made for each other, and then we'll look at what are the pros and cons if this opportunity came up. In fact, that would I'll probably do that before I even mention that something like this has come up. Mm. What do you think? I would just want to hear what his views are. Sometimes his views will tell me, hmm, this is not the right time to bring up this topic. Mm. Or it will tell me this is a great time, slip it in there as a conversation. You know, take time to research what the pros and cons can be because what can look like a good thing now might end up being a bad thing in future. You can relocate to greener pastures and maybe that decision can separate the family yeah. and mm. uh, you know, the children can be worse off for it. So there are many things to consider beyond just, oh, the pay package is greater. But that the fact that a man can follow, he can follow me, of course he will, if he sees that it's a better option and it's better for him too. Because not every sub move of the wife, sometimes mm. it even benefits the husband more. more. You already talked about the Proverbs 31 woman, yeah, sure. saying that her husband is regarded at, at the gate. Chief. Yes, at the gate, you know, heralded because of what she's doing. So, me, I know my mission. My <laughs> mission is everybody will be yelling this man mm. while I'm making sure that I do the things behind. Let the issue never come up that I am trying to... I don't want to wear the pants. Mm. So I don't want to wear the pants in the house. Yeah. Let me put it that way. Oh, nice. <laughs> nicely put. So, True. okay, what's your opinion about what we're talking about? Okay, so buying into part of what he has said, it's important that you have a conversation around it. Yeah. True. And what will even bring you guys to that point of having that conversation? Um, for the man, he will first start looking at it from the point of how his wife has probably always related treated him, him, always True related that. to him, right? And yeah. you can, there's the level of energy you get and you know that, okay, this person is presenting this as our, we are going. Our like, thing. Are going. Yeah, no, no, I mean like, <laughs> oh, okay. I've gotten this, it. I have to go, mm -hmm. come along. If you don't want to come along, there's, so there's a yeah. that give that yeah. kind of energy. Yeah. But when you have a conversation around it, like um, Abby said, um, sorry, OC, OC, sometimes the man could actually even benefit more yeah. from yeah. that situation. But also you need to consider what's presently happening. For example, someone who has a business and he's growing the business. It's not like the business is just there. Mm. There are people who maybe for the first two, three years, mm. they stay apart for a while. That's true. Right, the lady may go there and settle things in. I know a much older friend. He never moved. His business was here. He was. He stayed here. His wife was there for close to like twelve years. That's out of wow. the country. Out of the country before he eventually moved. 
Mm. Yes. So I he was know, growing his business, like but making sure he was going there to go to see her, it. to go see her and all that. And then at some point where he had created enough structure stability and stability for the business, he, he went there. Her. He's monitoring his business, has CCTVs everywhere mm -hmm. and all those kind of things. And now he just comes in. Imagine a situation where the wife just thought, ah, this has come, we need to move. If you are not coming, what do we say? The family would have broken apart. Yeah. But they could stay apart for a couple of years, still be able to relate to each other, and now it's better for them, for um, them and, and their the children. Family, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so family. to wrap up this conversation, uh, I'd like to ask all of us one question now. Um, you know, we are in Africa, yeah. <laughs> we are in Nigeria, and there's a man's thing, and yeah. there's a, there's the ego thing generally, not just in Africa. Yeah. So now we've weighed it. Let's let's paint a scenario where the man has weighed that it's a better option for the family. Mm. But because of that ego, you know, and probably less all things being equal, she has presented to it to him in the nicest and the most pleasant way. But because of what we people say, I'm in Africa, you know, for men going through that struggle, and so they can't take that decision that best mm, suits their family, true. what would you say to them? Let me start from you, Mr. Um, Mike. Weigh the options. And if the option is good, be logical about it. Yeah, be logical. Look at how it's going to benefit the family and there is there is a, a picture I always have in my mind and if the job now leaves me wherever you guys relocated or is relocating to, to and you get there and the job there's no job what mm. keeps you guys mm. Mm. so beyond the job beyond any other thing always look at the end product could it be what it's our purpose like and all that mm -hmm. issues around mm -hmm. it so beyond the job always look beyond the job if you go now, you guys travel, you move along with him and with her. Basically, look at it logically. Pray about it. Because it might be that God wants you guys to move and you are just um, um, there egoistic. because yes. of your ego. No, you don't really need to do. pray about it. And you have peace of mind, you follow her. There is no need, let me put this down, there is no need for us to... Africans to think, um, no, the woman, um, the woman has to, the woman can't be this. Mm. Why I am this? Bible said, love doesn't envy. Yeah. Yeah. So you just always want to see the best. In fact, let me shock you guys now. If you read the scripture, the Bible said, husband, love your, love wife, your wife as mm. what? As Christ loved the church. True. And he didn't end there. He said something that he gave up himself. So at mm. every time, you must understand what is happened and give up himself. For the wife. Wow, oh, that's amazing. So, so that he can, he can, for the growth of the family. family. family yes. Yeah. So, OJ, before we go and play our game, yes. <laughs> what would you add to what he has said? Um, so, what I will add to what he has said is for the African man like us, mm. you need to understand that sometimes it could be the woman that God wants to use yes. to elevate the family yes. to yes. another level. Yes. True, right? That. And sometimes I think to myself, personal opinion, Except if they're moving there for something that's certain already, okay, like a job. In some cases, mm -hmm. it's, they're, they're just relocating. Mm -hmm. I usually advise that one person goes there, test the water and see what's ob obtainable before the other person, just personal opinion before the other person comes in. Yeah. But it's all surrounded around how they have the conversation mm -hmm. about it. Yes. All right, so I think it's time we have play our game. That? Yes, I <laughs> because we are getting too serious. It's now. time we play our game. So we have this very interesting game, and um, so we want to see the power of your ability to calculate, and okay. at the same time, mm -hmm. <laughs> use. Uh -oh. I, you, I'm giving everybody. Am I playing the game? <laughs> yes, we all are going to play the game. Okay. So, this, I think we have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay, no. Then, let me okay. just take it to two. No, no, don't worry. We will use nine. I'll be the game master. The three of you are going to play. Yes. So, just help me, just open it up. Please help me open it up. Okay. So the game is very simple. Sorry. What you just do is get. Okay, so this is for you. The three of them. This is for you, Michael. And this right. is for you. Okay. It's a very simple game. Okay. You take this. 
you blow some air into it. Right. Now I'll, I'll start again. Sorry. Mm -hmm. This is how it works. You come here. <laughs> so, no, I know but this, I can't come <laughs> this, this is how the game works. Okay. Um, you blow the balloon into it, okay. right? And when the balloon swells, it's supposed to hold the cup. Okay, okay. okay. Yes. You see why I'm being the moderator? I don't want to play this game. Uh. Mm. <laughs> but that's how you're going to play. All right. very funny game. Right. 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 So, so right. use the balloon. You use the balloon with the air in it to okay. take it up. And stack it. Stack. Mm. Okay. Use that again. Oh, to stack. yes. Right. So it's time for me to laugh at you guys. <laughs> oh, just okay. Right. Yes, just very simple. Okay, game. so tell us when to start. Are you ready? Okay. Uh, Three. Are we picking the cup now, or we'll just go there? No, you lean forward. All right. Yes. I think this is good. Yes, this okay. is. You may I'm come down if you want to. Okay. Three. I'm set to win. Two. Lean forward. One. Uh, please, go. can I lift this cup? <laughs> The winner. I am the winner. Oh. I'm <laughs> try, this is try. how I sit. Amazing. Uh oh. Ah. 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 <laughs> leave the air. Hey, you don't leave the air. Hey. Oh. That's the only okay, way. That's the only way. That's the only way you can stay. Release the air. Okay. Oh, no. Ah. Right. No, you are the third. <laughs> Who is the winner? Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Who is the winner? Yes, you're done already. Okay, maybe I didn't get that. <laughs> no, you did, but you kept holding on you kept to your holding balloon on to instead balloon. of letting it go. Yeah, sometimes you need to let things go. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, <you're> kidding. <laughs> oh, Jake. We'll see you over to you. How dare you advise anyone on this game? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. So, um, five things, five things, five things. So, I'm taking away a few things from your banter, but I think I want to say something. I want to say something here. We keep referring to the African, the African, the African. Mm. There's neither Greek nor Jew, mm. male nor mm. female. Mm. When we accept the Lordship of Jesus Christ, there are a few things we need to let go of, which is in, um, there's a scripture that talks about, um, oh, I forget it now. The scripture, <laughs> <laughs> I forget the scripture now. I wanted to say that, please allow the Holy Spirit to lead you, mm. especially African men, mm. <laughs> viewers, allow the Holy Spirit to guide you. Let the Holy Spirit be the reason why you make decisions. Don't, don't allow your culture or mm. your whatever be the sole decision. Oh, this is how we are in Africa. African men can't do this. No, that is why we are called to a higher life. That's why Christ gave himself up for the church. So sure. I'm going to leave um, viewers with five things that I, I, not my perspectives, researched. Okay? <laughs> so just like you have, you have suggested, the couple should consider and agree what works for both of them. True. Whenever an option like this comes up, right? The man, it's, it's, every, every man is a leader of his home. And so... He has a picture of what he wants his home to be. So the man must determine what he wants for his ho himself and his family. And if following the wife will bring that vision to pass. Mm. If he's not following, if, if, if it's going to deviate from the vision, then you may need to sit down and have that conversation around it. Number um, three, he must be highly self-assured. You know, because we've already talked about our society and the egos. You know, sometimes you're going to come under criticism if you want to do the right thing. And the right thing may not be popular, True. which may be having to relocate for your wife's career. So you want to brace up for whatever criticism that you might encounter and hold on to the word of God, what informs your decision. It's important that you pray and let it inform your decision. Um, number five, right? <laughs> was it three or four? I think this was the this first fourth, one. This, this is the fourth one. Yes. Okay, so yeah. self-awareness is key. Mm. In this decision of relocation, relocating or taking a decision to, to please your wife, for instance, um, it's, it's important to know how it rubs off on you as a man. Mm. Self-awareness of your weaknesses, your strengths, need to be brought to the table. Yeah. If, if moving with her will continue to rub you the wrong way or you feel traumatized, it's something you should talk about. Yeah. So take time to be, to be self-aware. Know yourself, your weaknesses, your proclivities. And then finally, be fair to your spouse. Be fair to your spouse. So a great opportunity comes up and it looks like it will change the family and you're asking him to just dump everything and follow. Be fair, especially if that was not part of the plan 
in the beginning and give them time to process the information and even decide whether or not they want to go along with it. In marriages, we all compromise, so be mm. fair to your, to your spouse. spouse. Yes. Be yeah. fair to your side. Very well. <laughs> you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. So, um, thank you so much, Michael, for taking time to be with us. Yeah, this show, you have you know, showed some things. We've talked about how the woman, if a relationship had existed before then, true. the way he would, she, he would be happy and eager to support her journey because yeah, it's for the good of the family. The family. Yeah, but true. if it's selfishly approached, me, my career, my growth, my whatever, and, it, and it's in such a way that it derogates the man, then yeah. you will not get the kind of support you want from your spouse. Yeah, and believe you me, you did not marry, not to be able to support one another. Mm -hmm. That said, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, if you'd like to sponsor this show, please feel free to call the numbers showing on your screen. Does anyone have any last words? I think we had... Uh, Michael, let's leave the last word with there. you. Okay. <laughs> if we were to leave our viewers with one last word, what would that be? Um, try and... Um, she just captured something. Have a vision for the family mm. and run with it. Whatever you do, she revolves around that. Yes. Mm. Very impressive. All right. With that so, said, I think we'll have to sign <laughs> what we call the pillow of fame. A pillow Red of fame. fame. The pillow of fame. <laughs> so you get signed and let us know that you were here. Okay. Um. Red or green? Yeah, the red is fine. Okay. okay. Anywhere and anything you want to write. Okay. Yep, that's fine. Amazing. Thank Amazing. You. Very Great much. having you here. Thank you. And as we always do at the end of every show, selfie time. Selfie with Big OJ. All right. <laughs> I think we, we need to change that. Ozzy, what do you think? I'm cool with it. Right. Oh, thank you. I'm cool. Okay, so I want you to All come right. here. Okay. Since I'm taking the selfie, I think I should stay at this end. Okay. Ozzy. Okay. Amazing. <laughs>